Hey guys, Tiara here with Doc Girl Fitness, and today's video will be all about how I am learning virtually and working from home post surgery. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering why I am wearing clothes with stars on them and why I'm in a car. Neither of those things are relevant right now. Let's just get to the good stuff. Before we get started, something that is not necessarily relevant to this video, but is definitely relevant to this channel, is that I would love for you all to take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you like Doc Girl Fitness and you like tuning into these videos. All the analytics show me that there's still about 90-ish percent of people who tune into all these videos but aren't subscribed. Consider subscribing because it really does help out the channel and it would just mean so much to me to have more people in the Doc Girl Fitness fam. All right guys, back to the video. As most of you know, I recently had my second hip surgery and I am still in pediatrics residency. I did not take any time off that would push me back or delay my graduation time from residency. Basically what I did instead was have my chief residents work with my schedule. So my chief residents worked with my schedule. They were so great about everything and they were able to switch some things around to where I took off a week of vacation, the week of my surgery. And then I immediately started back doing a virtual rotation. That initial virtual rotation was radiology. And then by the time of the next block, when I was starting to feel a little bit better, I started doing a more intensive work from home. And I started going into clinic about one time a week for clinic. So that initial rotation that I was on that was entirely virtual actually did not have any clinical component to it. It was a virtual radiology rotation where I logged in to listen to different conferences where different radiology attendings would talk about pediatric radiology cases and then whenever there weren't any of those case conferences I spent my time learning the basics of radiology and the specifics of pediatric radiology by system. This was an excellent rotation because it really encompassed all all parts of the human body and it really catered radiology to pediatrics so it made me as a pediatric provider feel much more comfortable when it comes to what studies to ask for for my patients and how to have a more knowledgeable conversation with a radiologist whenever I call them to ask about a radiology read or just in general for their second opinion. This was also a really great rotation to take during residency during a time like this because it was a much more laid back rotation. It didn't require any in-person visits and there were also no projects or any specific tasks that I had to do where I needed to be involved with the hospital. So it really gave me the time that I needed to rest before moving on to my next rotation. So the next rotation I did was a required rotation. It is typically a rotation that is required for third year residents at my program, but they made an exception for me as a second year because of my need to have more time at home. This rotation I'm sure has many different names depending on where you go, but it basically involved outreach, advocacy, and involvement within the community from a pediatric standpoint. It was an absolutely excellent rotation that really pushed me to get involved with the community. And more than anything, it showed me that getting involved with your community doesn't mean that you have to be on your feet all the time, which is something I would have always thought prior to this hip surgery. Basically the way this rotation worked I went to clinic in person one time per week and usually when I arrived at clinic I would see patients virtually or I would see patients that did not require a ton of movement to examine them as an alternative to doing virtual appointments. And that was pretty much based off of the patient population that arrived to clinic that day. On my non-clinic days, I spent my time doing a lot of advocacy work, whether that be writing opinion pieces for local newspapers, writing letters to local officials, tweeting about important pediatric topics, or engaging with different community leaders who have a true investment in the local community where I am doing residency and have a major impact on pediatric health in that way. I also took a deeper dive into learning more about insurance plans, refugee health, 
patient access to care, alternatives to brick and mortar clinics such as mobile clinics, and so much more. This rotation also kind of reinvigorated in me my true passion for explaining concepts about medicine to the general public in a way that anyone could understand. And I had several opportunities to do that within the community. And that's something I really would like to do a lot more of, not just in residency, but also throughout my career in medicine. Something else that I did on this rotation that was so cool was I did a debate where myself and another co-resident debated against two other co-residents on social determinants of health and it was just so cool. I mean, the things that we did on this rotation, I have just never done in residency and I never did in medical school. And it was just such a unique way to approach medicine and to approach learning medicine and to approach the practice of medicine. And I just really, really enjoyed it. It was so cool, y'all. I could not believe that there was so much that I had not even explored out of pediatrics. And it just made me realize that no matter what I do in pediatrics and no matter what fellowship I decide to go into or if I decide to go into general pediatrics, regardless, I want to be that involved in healthcare. I want to be an advocate for my patients on more levels than one. I want to be engaged in my local community. And doing this rotation gave me a lot of tips and tricks on how to do that. And it gave me a lot of connections within this area to continue to learn more about how I can get even more involved. I also haven't forgotten about my New Year's resolutions. So in addition to doing all of these things in my downtime, I did try to prepare for my next rotation by doing some reading because this next rotation is supposed to be a beast. So I did some reading on that as well. When I wasn't doing anything related to my rotations, I was just continuing to rest and recuperate. I've been doing my exercises at home and just preparing for my six week follow up appointment with my pediatric orthopedic surgeon. And if you all are interested in knowing any more about my hip related journey, then tune in next week because I'll explain everything about that part of the journey at that time. But all right guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in and get ready because I have tons of more videos in store and I'm so excited to share everything with you all. As always, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or you just want to chat, make sure to let me know in the comments section below. And if you like videos about medicine, lifestyle, and fitness, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.